Hello everyone. I am Abhishek Doshi, Flutter developer at Somnia Software, and uh, today we are going to see the most common mistake that many Flutter developers do, even the beginners as well as experts. in their career which really really affects the performance of your application so what exactly is that mistake so whenever we want to reduce our widget tree uh, many flutter developers uh, extract a particular widget in the form of method instead of a stateless class now that is a uh, the biggest mistake which can impact the performance so let's quickly see that so if you see we have a small code snippet where we have a column inside that we have flutter logo text size box and a row in which there are two elevated buttons so the ui is pretty simple just a simple screen where there is few widgets being added and uh, yeah you can see that uh, it's not uh, like too much complex too much uh, big widget tree but enough to check what exactly we want to do now let's suppose that we want to extract this particular row as a separate widget now first let's see what mistake or what the wrong thing that usually we are doing so when we when we click on uh, when we right click on row we will get as refactor or let's uh, let's just check from the bulb icon and uh, what usually people do is they extract this particular widget in the form of method and give it a name called bottom widget and then use it in the widget tree so you can see that the bottom widget that we have is a separate widget over here inside the same class and then it is used in the build main build method now why exactly is this wrong whenever you are extracting a particular widget in the form of a method instead of a stateless widget you are creating the same you are using the same build method for both the widgets now you can see that in the in our bottom widget we don't have a separate build method we are just returning a widget and in our stateless class we have a build method now if we want to perform set state or if you want to rebuild our ui so let's suppose that we are in this particular on press we are writing set state so set state is basically uh, now if you are writing set state over here it will actually rebuild your parent build method as well because there is only one build method and hence uh, if you if you extract a particular widget in the form of method you are creating a performance issue now let's suppose that here we have like very small widget tree but what if you have a widget tree which actually contains you know few hundreds of widgets then in that case you would act, you your performance would really be very much impacted with uh, such bad mistake now let's see what exactly thing or what new thing or what the correct thing we should do i have created another file called home duplicate the code is same you can see like a uh, column flutter logo text size box and row now let's extract this particular widget and uh, below extract method you will get extract widget so this would actually create a separate stateless class you can see that it is it has created a separate stateless class called bottom widget which has its own build method and then we are using it over here so you can see we have the bottom widget in our parent build class and this build widget class has its own build method now if we do set state in this particular on pressed or this on pressed it will just rebuild this particular widget tree only which means that we are only rebuilding or only calling the rebuild method of that particular class which actually needs rebuild and we are not causing unnecessary or unuseful rebuilds in this case so this is the main reason that uh, 
it is always advisable to extract a meth extract a widget in the form of a separate class either stateless or stateful and not extracted in the form of a particular method to summarize the biggest mistake that all the developers do is that whenever they want to reduce the size of the widget tree they extract the widget in the form of method instead of a separate stateless or stateful class now method is not a good way because it would not have a separate build method and whenever we want to update that particular part of our code whenever we want to rebuild that particular part of our ui the entire widget tree would be rebuilt because we are using the only one build method on the other hand if we extract a particular widget in the form of a stateless or stateful widget then we have a separate build method for that particular widget tree and hence the rebuild is very much better in performance because we would be just rebuilding our part of ui which actually needs the rebuild so i hope you learned something new today and you would be using this in your regular days and yeah stay tuned for such tips thank you